Because Trump is far and away the lead candidate, and he celebrated last night with a rally in New Hampshire focused on the central issue of 2024, his cognitive test from four years ago. Well, guys, why won't Donald Trump release the results of his cognitive test? You know the one he can't shut up about, keeps bragging about. I did say, what about a cognitive test? He said, well, you know, it's not that easy. I said, look, I got to take it because I got to shut it up. And I took it and I aced it. And let me tell you, you know, they always show you the first one, like a giraffe, a tiger, or this, or that, a whale. Which one is the whale? He regaled us all with Chris Wallace on air a few years ago by telling us the difficult, difficult uh, schedule he had to go through. I mean, it sounded a lot like what Navy SEALs go through to train. I love the I'm crazy about the world. He had to repeat, and I believe I'm quoting man, woman, person, camera, <laughs> and maybe a few more words. But man, he aced it as he pointed it out. Like you'll go person, woman, man, camera, TV. So they say, could you repeat that? So I said, yeah. So it's person, woman, Man, camera, TV. Okay, that's very good. They said nobody gets it in order. It's actually not that easy, but for me it was easy. I do it because I have like a good memory because I'm cognitively there. And he just can't stop pointing out that he aced it. So why won't he release it? Democrats have asked for him to release the cognitive test. Numerous journalists have. Hell, even though certain Republicans have asked for it, I assume of the never Trump variety, or the, at least the we know Trump is really f stupid variety and is losing his mind and sundowning in front of us on stages every night. But he won't release it. He just will tell us he aced it with the man and the woman and the person and the camera. Hey, I'm looking at a camera right now. That's a camera. I aced it too. Lucy was in a terrible car accident. She lost her short-term memory. Right. Release the test, Don. What are you hiding? What are all these Republicans hiding? Why can't we know? Why can't we know he, why he stood up on stage? We've shown this in numerous videos. We'll show you some more examples here of where he starts going, Russia and Saudi Arabia and ubu ba bi ba ba ri ba ba do da bu ah. He's had something pretty close to that. I'm only barely exaggerating. In Venezuela. Did you just see Maduro? Venezuela, well, it's uh, unbelievable. We are a nation that just recently heard that Saudi Arabia and Russia will repeat your... Oh. And the irony of all this, of course, is you don't just take a cognitive test. He's telling on himself, which he always does, which is why he's lost hundreds of millions, billion more in legal settlements, because the man can't keep his mouth shut and gets up and says things that all the time show how stupid he is and show how guilty he is. The cognitive test is just another example of that. Let me tell you what it says at the Cleveland Clinic, one of the best in the country, by the way, uh, on why you would take a cognitive test. Quote, suspicion of mental decline or impairment. You may have noticed such a decline in yourself or a close friend or family member may have noticed. That's when you would take one. You may begin your exam now. Of course. Gee, I wonder why Donald Trump took one. I wonder who may have noticed he's getting up on stage and barfing out all sorts of words that don't actually form sentences together. We want to get Romneys and those out. But they know that we are the only ones who can stop them. We're the only ones. This is the greatest movement in the history of our country, maybe in the history of any country, even Argentina. They went MAGA. You know Argentina, great guy. He's a big Trump guy. He loves Trump. I love him because he loves Trump. When he called, I took his call. And me, Anybody that loves me, I like them. I said, Abdul, he's still there. He's the head of the Taliban. He said, you're killing our soldiers. Don't do it anymore because terror will rain down on you. And he called, yes, yes, your highness. He called me your highness, which is interesting. Just thought it'd be worth pointing this out. And also, once again, asking, hey, Don, you going to release the results? Because we'd really love to see them.
Beyond just the reason you would take a cognitive test because suspicion of mental decline or impairment, we're going to get a little bit more, more specific. Concerns about memory or thinking, forgetting appointments or important events, difficulty recalling words you usually know. Have we noticed he can't say simple words on stage? Donald Trump, release your test. Prove to us that your man-woman-person camera is as genius as you say it is.